Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to part 7 of the Garry's Mode Game Mode scripting tutorial series. This time, we will be continuing the inventory system, and we will make a menu that will show us what we have in our inventory. Uh, the menu for stats and such comes in the next tutorial. So, in the menu, you will be able to take it up see what items you have and the amount of each item but uh, not be able to drop it and use it quite yet we will fix that in the next part because this is gonna take quite a while first of all we need to make a new file called items this file will contain the information for each item like the price and what model it should use and um, what happens when you use it etc so items.lua and when we, when we make a new file we need to remember to include it and send it to the client so that is indeed what we are going to do oh, there we go let's copy this line in init.lua and rename it to items same with this one copy paste rename it to items we are now sending the file called items.lua inside the database directory and we are including the file on the server side we also need to include it on the client side we could include this in shared.lua since it is shared uh, since it is shared between the server and client but uh, we're just gonna be lazy and include it on the client side instead why the hell not there we go, it has been included. Everything should be working as far as for now. Okay, peeps. In the items.lua, we start off by making the table or array that will contain all the information about the items that are available inside the game mode. So local items is a table. And we need a function that we can call for to get the item information. So we do get items and the name of the item, like soda box. So I uh, no if items name if it does exist in our database, oh, then return the goddamn item. I'm just gonna copy this since it is the same thing. And and if not, return false. So if this does not happen, then it jumps over here, goes to end, return false. Now let's fill in the information. Uh, items soda1. I believe that was one of the items that we picked to have in our inventory to start off with. So tab. I like to do tab all the way over here, so I'm just gonna copy these tabs. Name equals blueberry soda comma that's very important now we have the name of our item inside the data of this item now we want a description the finest blueberries holder in the land comma and we need the entity uh, of course I'm gonna explain this in more detail in the next tutorial but the entity we're going to use as this type of item is called ent item underscore basic then we have the prices if we're going to have a shop that's gonna be a table inside a table indeed the tableception uh, with buy, so the buy price is going to be 18, and the sell price does indeed have to be lower, 9. If not, people are going to exploit your code. Then the model, uh, you find models by just going into a sandbox uh, game mode. Uh, find your model, right click and copy to clipboard, I think. And that way you will get the link to, uh, to that exact model. Props, junk, uh, 
pop can zero one a dot mdl. Okay. Then we have the use function. This is the function that's going to be called the second you press the use button inside the inventory menu, which we're going to make very soon. Function. So the use function is going to have two arguments, the player that used the item and the entity which was used. If ply is valid, if, there's, if it's actually, if the player does actually exist, just to check, you never know. Add health. Two. I'm, I think this is a special function. I don't think it's in Gary's mod. But uh, we'll find out. Then, and remove. So if the entity exists, if we didn't just use it straight from the inventory and the entity never existed, then we remove the item from the existence. Uh, in the use function, we will have something that removes the item from the inventory if that happens in that case. And we need a spawn function that spawns when uh, that uh, that's called when you drop the item. Function does also have ply and end argument and set item name. We will make this later. Soda. End. Comma skin equals zero. That will make it blue, I think, because we have a blueberry soda. And okay, I'll show you this one later, but button distance will, uh, because the buttons in the inventory will show the model itself. This button distance value will tell the inventory menu how far away the item should display on the, on the button. Okay, now we just copy paste this, because we're gonna make a couple of more soda cans, because there is several skins to use. Skin 1. I think that's red, so uh, we need to rename this to Soda 2, so we won't overwrite the Soda 1. Soda 2 is going to be straw, Strawberry. Just copy paste that, find a Strawberry Soda in the land. And I think the rest is alright. The price should be about the same and everything, yeah. Copy again, rename to Soda 3. Uh, is that yellow? Yeah, I guess. Orange soda. The best orange soda in the land. And skin number two. And now we're done with the, the items that we need for now. You can make items yourself. Like a box or a backpack. Stuff like that. And add it to the database. And then add it to, uh, to the inventory database. On your in your data folder. Okay, Control S X. No, not X yet. Let's open database.lua. We need a couple of things in the database.lua. Scroll to the very bottom and add a new function. We want to have the inventory menu on F1. When you press F1 on the keyboard, the inventory menu should pop up. We do this by accessing a game mode function, gm show help ply. This is called every time a player presses F1, and it's only accessible on the server side as far as I know. So we're gonna just make the player do a command when he presses F1, and it's gonna be inventory. Inventory, yes. And that's that for the server side, as far as I remember. So, so we're gonna X that one. Open CL database, and this is going to be a long code, people. Get ready to get your fingers crushed. First of all, to make our life easier, start off by writing the first function in CL database. That's going to be function inventory table. That's going to return inventory itself. If it doesn't have the inventory, however, return a empty table. Database get value inventory. 
or a empty table. Uh, OCD. There we go. Now we'll make a function that checks if you have the item that is being scanned for in our for loop, which we are going to see on look at later. Inventory. Inventory. Sorry. Has item name and amount. So you check if you have the, the item and the amount of those items. If not amount, then amount equals zero, 1. So if you forgot to put in the arg argument amount, it just puts it to argument equals 0. Local inventory or i is inventory table. I'm just going to copy paste. If the inventory exists, then I'm just going to make a little so you can see it properly. If I name, if the item actually is in the inventory, then I, I mean, if uh, I name amount, so if the amount of the items you carry is larger or equal to the amount that you requested, then return true. It's true that you have that amount of items. Else, return false. You didn't have enough. And then just uh, uh, no anything else here. If the item doesn't exist, then you don't have it. And if the inventory doesn't exist at all, then you also doesn't have it. Don't have it, I mean. Let's remove this. So this is how it should look. Three return falses after each other. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna jump over the drop and use functions, and we're gonna look at those next time. Now I'm going to show you a really cool trick to make custom derma or <laughs> menus in Gary's Mod with custom colors and transparency and stuff. I learned this from an old guy called Scully Sheepman back in the days. Let's make a table called Skits, which will contain all the colors that we want in our color scheme. Skins.colors equals table start with a table inside a table again. I'm not gonna say it. Light gray equals color uh, 131, 131, 131, 180 in the alpha. So this is the amount of red, green, blue, and transparency. Where 255 is no transparency. Gray equals color uh, 111, 111, blah, 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 and 180. Oh, I forgot the comma. Here we go. Uh, low white equals color 243, 243, 243, 180. Comma. Good black. Color uh, 41, 41, 41, uh, 230. Yeah. That should be it. And we have the colors ready to go. So we don't have to put all these numbers in. We just need to do skins, colors. Light grey, grey, low white, or good black. Functions, function, I mean, skins, draw frame with height. And I'm gonna put some enter so you can see. And top height is 24. That's going to be the, the little tab on the very top of the frames. It's gonna be the height of those. The amount, the radius of the rounded corners, it's going to be four. Draw rounded box X. Uh, draw point rounded box X. It's a special function. Rounded zero zero width top height skins colors no light gray true. True, no, false, false. I don't remember what all these arguments did, but I assume it's the rounded corners, the radius of those, x and y position, width and height, color, and something to do with... Um, I really don't remember. 
uh, I might put a link in the bottom of the description uh, for uh, for this uh, wiki page for this function if you are very interested. If not, I've forgotten it. Here we go. I'm just gonna copy paste three of those. I think we need three. Yeah. And the only thing we're gonna change is here. Top height. Double V. Age minus top height. Again, remember you can download the code in the description under the video if you can't follow me. A lot of people rage and crush things and throw their babies out of their windows because I haven't told them they can download the code in the description. And we're gonna have two, so we get a little rounded thingy. Top height width minus four. Height minus top height minus two. This is magic, just accept it. Good black. False false true. I'm gonna copy paste the false false true and put it in there. I will double check and it is indeed false false true. Okay, peeps. Down here again. We need to make a um Ah, it's called a textured quad. This will make a cool gradient effect on our frame. Uh, this is a top secret uh, thingy in the graphical user interface arena. So you better not go about and share this code, peeps. Local quad table. I'm just gonna copy quad table so I don't have to write it all the time. Texture. We need to make a table for this function. Which contains all the information about uh, the textured uh, quad. Surface dot get texture ID. This texture lies within the Gary's mod files and is used a lot in Half Life, as far as I remember. Color is color 10, 10, 10, 120. This is magic numbers. I've just figured out they look the best that way. X equals 2. Uh, y equals top height. Width equals double V minus 4. And height equals H minus top height minus 2. And then we use this information inside the, inside the quad table to texture it. Quad, quad table to draw the table. Uh, the, this texture, this texture. Hello again. I had to chop the video in half because it got so long. That's what she said. So please go over to part two of part seven for the rest of the video. Always remember you can download the code in the description if you don't want to watch. So, uh, goodbye, and see you in uh, part two then.